Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, my video lesson is on using substitution to solve a system of equations, and we're going to do this in five steps. Our objectives today are you will do that. You will solve a system of linear equations using substitution, and probably the most important thing I'll teach you today is how to check your solution. Here's the question I want you thinking about today as we proceed through the lesson. If you are here today, it tells me that you've already learned to solve a system by graphing. So I'm asking you today to think about, as I go through the lesson, how is the solution of a system found using substitution related to a solution of a system found by graphing? And here are our steps for solving a system using substitution. Step one, we're going to identify one of the equations that is in the form x equals an expression or y equals an expression. I will tell you this is a grade 8 video and it is the most basic equations you will see and they're usually set up to be used for substitution. I will show a follow-up video later for more complicated equations solving using substitution. Step two, we're going to substitute the expression from step one. So meaning we either know what x equals or y equals, and we're going to take the expression for either what x equals or y equals and put it into the other equation for either the x or the y. And we're going to solve for the variable. Step three, we're going to substitute the value for x or y from step two, so what we've solved for, and we're going to put that into the equation from step one and solve for the second variable. So in either steps 2 or 3, you're going to solve for either x or for y. So if step 2 you solve for x, step 3 you'll solve for y. Step 4, we're going to write our solution as an ordered pair. And step 5, we are going to check. This is probably the most important thing I will teach you today is how to check your solution. We're going to use your solution, evaluate each equation for the x and y values to be sure the solution is true for both equations. I'll tell you, both of my children, when they went through eighth grade and they learned how to do this, this was their favorite part of this unit because they knew when they handed in a homework, a quiz, or a test, they knew if they were correct or not because they could check their answer. So this is how we're using those steps I just showed you. Our instructions are solve the system using substitution and check your solution. Here is our system of linear equations, reminding you that a system of linear equations is two or more linear equations, and we're looking to find the point where they intersect if we graph them on a coordinate plane. Now graphing is usually a way we use to estimate it, unless you're given two equations that someone knows are going to intersect at integer values. So today you will see ordered pairs that aren't just integer values. So here we go. Step one, I'm going to identify this linear equation, the first one. Sometimes it's the second, in this case it's the first. I'm identifying that in step one because y is isolated. It is solved for y. It is in slope-intercept form, and we know that y is equal to 4x subtract 3. So now in step two, we're going to start with our second equation, we'll write that down, and what we want to do is we want to take this expression and substitute it in for y, because we know that y is equal to 4x minus 3. So we're going to replace the y in this equation with 4x minus 3, using parentheses, because that's 3 times y, so now we have 3 times 4x minus 3 because we know that y is equal to 4x minus 3 from our first equation. So now we're going to solve this linear equation for x. So here we go, we're going to distribute first. So we're going to keep our 2x, 3 times 4x is 12x, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, and it all equals 5. Now to keep solving, we are going to combine like terms. 2x and 12x are 14x. Now we need to get 14x alone, so the inverse of subtract 9 is to add 9 to each side. When we do that, this is our zero pair, so we get that 14x equals 5 plus 9, which is 14. 
Now, final step, to solve for x, we're going to undo multiply by 14 by dividing each side by 14. 14 divided by 14 on both sides is 1, so that leaves us x equals 1. Now we're ready for step 3, now that we know that x is equal to 1. Step 3 is we're going to go back to the equation that we wrote in step 1, which is y equals 4x minus 3. We're going to identify that I need to know what x is equal to, which I know from step 2. So I'm bringing that value up here and replacing x with 1 using parentheses because that is 4 times x, so 4 times 1. Now we have 4 minus 3 and y will be equal to 1. Step 4 is to write our answer as an ordered pair. x is 1, y is 1. We get that from step 2 and step 3. Be careful because sometimes in step 2 you might have solved for y. Final step, my favorite part, let's check to see if we're correct. We're going to write down our first equation. We're going to replace y with the value we solve for 1 and x with the value we solve for, which is 1 in this case. 4 times 1 is 4, minus 3 is 1, and 1 equals 1, it checks. Now we take the second equation, we do the same thing. We replace x with the value 1 and y with the value 1 because that is what we solve for. 2 plus 3 is 5, it checks. So our solution to the system is the ordered pair 1, 1. Now it's your turn. I'd like you to pause the video here. Solve this system using substitution and don't forget to check your solution. So hopefully you wrote down your five steps. If not, you might want to pause the video, go back and write those down. And I challenge you not to go ahead and see the solution. Solve this one on your own. Good luck. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Step one, we write down the equation. I'm going to use the first one because it's solved for y. So now I know that y is equal to negative 5x plus 14. I'm going to write down my second equation in step two. And I'm going to replace the y uh, value with negative 5x plus 14. Remember, that's multiply, so we're going to use parentheses. And now we need to distribute. So I have, remember, this is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 5x is positive 10x. Negative 2 multiplied by positive 14 is negative 28. Next step is to combine like terms. 2x and 10x are 12x. Next step is to get 12x alone. So the inverse of subtract 28 is to add 28 to each side, giving me a zero pair. So bring down the 12x and 2 plus 28 is 30. Divide both sides by 12 to undo multiply x by 12. That leaves me x is equal to 2.5. Bringing this up to step 3, I'm going to write down the original equation from step 1 that was solved for y. I'm going to identify I need to know what x is to solve for y. Bring up my value of x, put it in parentheses because that's negative 5 multiplied by x. Negative 5 times 2.5 is negative 12.5. Add it to 14 and I get positive 1.5. So I'm ready to write my solution as an ordered pair. So I'm going to have the ordered pair 2.5 for x, 1.5 for y. And here, let's check. We take our first linear equation. We're going to put in 1.5 for y and 2.5 for x. Negative 5 times 2.5 is negative 12.5. Negative 12.5 plus 14 is 1.5, and it checks. Let's use our second equation. We're going to replace the x with 2.5 and the y with 1.5. Remember that is 2 multiplied by x. 2 times 2.5 is 5. Subtract 2 times 1.5, which is 3. 5 subtract 3 is 2, and it checks. The solution to the system is the ordered pair or the point 2.5, 1.5. Remember your solution should have um, an ordered pair that is expressed in parentheses with the coordinates separated by a comma. And just to remind you, if you graphed these two lines, this is the point where they would intersect. And this is why it's very important to learn a different method besides solving by graphing, because this would be very hard to determine on a coordinate plane that it was two and a half, one and a half. All right, your turn again. You should be getting to be a professional now. 
Go ahead and pause, come back and hit play when you're ready to see the solution. Welcome back. So we're going to write down, I'm writing down the first equation because it is solved for y. Now I know that y is equal to 2x minus 6. I'm going to write down my second equation in step 2, and I'm going to replace the y with 2x minus 6 using parentheses, and now I need to distribute 2 times 2x is 4x, 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. Now my like terms aren't near each other, 4x and negative x are 3x, don't forget your subtract 12 equals 3. Now to get 3x alone, I'm going to do the inverse of subtract 12 and add 12 to each side. My zero pair gives me that 3x equals 15. Undo multiply by 3 by dividing both sides by 3, and x is equal to 5. Step 3, I'm going to go back and use my equation from step 1. And note that I need to know the value for x, which I found in step 2, so I'm going to bring that up and replace it using parentheses. That's 2 times the x value of 5, which is 10, subtract 6, and I get that y is equal to 4. So I'm ready to write my ordered pair, which is x is 5, y is 4. Now let's check our solution. My first equation, I'm going to replace y with 4 and x with 5. So 4 is equal to 2 times 5 is 10, minus 6. 10 minus 6 is 4, and it checks. Write down our second equation, and I'm going to replace the y with 4 and the x with 5. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 subtract 5 is 3, and it checks. My solution is the ordered pair 5, 4. Okay, one more for you. Please pause now and come back when you're ready to check your solution. Welcome back. Now I said come back when you're ready to check your solution, but I hope you did that in step five and you're not depending on me to check for you. Step one, I'm going to write down this first equation because y is solved. And I'm going to know that y is equal to negative x plus eight. So I'm going to take that expression and put it in the second equation for y. So now I have three times this expression for y, negative x plus eight. I'm going to distribute for the next step. 3 times negative x is negative 3x, and 3 times 8 is 24. Combine our like terms. Negative x and negative 3x are negative 4x. To get negative 4x alone, I'm going to subtract 24 from each side, giving me negative 4x equals negative 24. To get x alone, I'm going to do the inverse of multiply, which is to divide both sides by negative 4 and gives me x equals positive 6. Step 3, I'm going to write down the equation I used in step 1 and bring up my value for x, which I found in step 2. Remember, this is negative, so that means negative 1x. The negative 1 times the x value of 6 gives me negative 6. Negative 6 plus 8, it gives me 2. So my solution is the ordered pair when x is 6, y is 2. Now let's check. Taking our first, I'm going to replace y with 2, and remember this is negative x, so negative 1 times the value of x, which is negative 6 plus 8, which is 2. It checks. In our last equation, we're going to take this negative x, and we're going to replace it with 6. Remember it's negative 1x, plus 3 times 2, Negative 1 times 6 is negative 6, and 3 times 2 is 6. These are opposites and give us 0, and it checks. So my solution to this system is the point, or the ordered pair, 6, 2. There you have it. Those are the five simple steps to using substitution to solve a system of equations. I'm so glad you joined me today. I hope you'll come back soon and sign up and click on the bell for notifications. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll do so today. Go ahead and keep learning the magic of math one video at a time, and I hope you'll come back soon.